I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News Update. Hartford County is getting its first mass vaccination site. County Executive Barry Glassman says it is a major win for the county and especially for those who've struggled to get the vaccine. Five other mass vaccination sites are expected to open in Maryland next month as well. In early April, the Timonium Fairgrounds in Baltimore County will transition to a state mass vaccination site. Another one is coming to Montgomery College in Germantown. In mid-April, mass vaccination sites will open in partnership with Frederick County and Anne Arundel County. Finally, in late April, there will be a partnership with Howard County to open a site there. The exact locations for the final three sites haven't been announced just yet. Well, a nurse by day and a musician by night. Natasha Ramirez works at the University of Maryland. After seeing the toll that the pandemic was taking on patients and workers, she decided to write a song to share some hope with. She got together with her band Vagabond Motel and they wrote the song Not Broken, paying tribute to COVID-19 essential workers, patients and their families. It's been hard. We know it's hard. Um, we're not done yet, but we're so close. You know, once we had the vaccine, it was so globally obvious that there was a response of um, we, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Resilience. Ramirez says she is looking forward to writing songs, looking back past the pandemic. Needing the umbrella before you head out of the door, tracking showers are going to be with us on and off throughout most of your day. That's not going to stop temperatures to getting to where they should be. I do think we'll get into the upper 50s for most of the afternoon with daytime highs cresting at 60 here in the city. We'll get to 58 in Westminster, 57 across the bay in Stevensville, a little bit warmer in Easton where they'll get to 62. And then we're drying out for Thursday, keeping the clouds on tap, warming towards the low 70s into the 80s for Friday. Slight rain chance northwest of the city, another chance of showers on Sunday. Looks like your Saturday is the weekend winter and we're falling into the upper 50s by next Monday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on our top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.